Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make this dashboard with these cool buttons and the nice background. So as you click on them, you can go back and forth between the different sheets. Stay tuned. Consider supporting me through Patreon. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into PowerPoint and create the template. And I'm actually going to do it with you. Sometimes I know that can be a little bit confusing. What exactly do we, are we talking about? And this is where I think you can get some really cool things. If you're looking for more themes, uh, different colors, different backgrounds, uh, let's just pick, we'll just pick this one. And we're going to make, we're going to just create that. I've done this before in another job that has a lot of different colors. And so we're going to get rid of we're going to get rid of some of this text here. Oops. We're going to get rid of this. Oops. We just want to get rid of the. See if we can make this just blank. It's a little easier said than done. Okay, so I guess we'll just move this to the front. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add those buttons that we were talking about. We're just going to throw in a couple right here. I like to do it in, and I'm just copying and pasting. And what you might do, if you were to do this for real, is you'd probably create a couple of different templates. One that has a couple different buttons. I'm going to do one more, because I like to have a title. So I'm just going to put the title kind of bar up here. In the middle and it's not perfectly even but you get the concept and now what you're going to do is you're going to come under file and you're going to save as it's probably going to pull up a bunch of stuff and I'm just going to put it down under thumbnail because that's where I like to save these and we're going to call this um, screen background and here's the key right here, is changing this to uh, a JPEG or a PNG, either one will work. And we're going to save that as screen background. And I just want to save just this one. And now when you come into Tableau, we're going to create a dashboard. And this is where it's also going to get a little bit tricky. We're going to actually come up under Map background maps uh, actually we're going to bring in an image right right click we're going to choose an image I've got a lot in here from other videos that I've done Let's see if we can find it screen background there we go and I just grab that select okay you can see all image selected and I like to fit the image and then center the image and I'm going to hit OK. And so here's where it gets a little bit tricky because you don't want all this white space, right? So you're going to have to come over here and we're going to change, instead of a range, let's change it to a fixed size. And we're just going to make this, uh, let's see what we can do for width. Try 1300. And maybe make this 700. And we're trying to mess around. Oh, 7,000. No, that's not it. 700. We still have a little bit of white edge here. So you could either bring the width in or we could pull this up. Because what it's trying to do is it's trying to fit the, the size. Okay. Oh, dear. So that's actually a pretty good fit. So I'm going to create the dashboard. This is going to be my dashboard. It's going to be 14 by 800 and we're going to uh, now we're going to throw in let's see make this one got to remember what kind of charts we got we got a bar chart and we're going to just grab some text put this oops change it to floating because now that you have an image here everything that you bring on here needs to be floating um, otherwise it's going to push the whole image off to the side 
All right, so we could actually make that a little bit bigger, but we're gonna leave that for now. And we're gonna put a button here. I'm gonna create, actually, let me just, sheets, let me unhide all these sheets. And we're gonna bring, I'm not sure which one of these is. All right. All right, we're just going to call this uh, delay disruption. I'm going to create all three of these. You will probably already have in mind what kind of thing you want to, you're going to do. Here's something I just kind of learned. Maybe you guys already know it. Select here, hover, and you can just switch the sheet. And so we'll just call this. Um, We'll duplicate that again. And we've got this highlighted. And we'll just say manager performance. So now let's go ahead and add some buttons here. I'm going to just add two because this third one I don't have. So we're going to click on navigation. Actually just drag it over. And I'm going to resize it as soon as it, I'm just going to resize it. And now I'm going to edit the button. And I'm going to say navigate to, and I'm down here I'm going to say delay disruption. That's where I want. Uh, a title, we want this to be a title, and this is, uh, one thing you'll want to double check is I've left these blank before and I thought I would put the text in uh, PowerPoint, but when I publish it, this term navigation pops up again. So let me just, I'm going to just leave it here. I'm going to go delay distribution. And we're going to change the background here to none. And OK. All right, you want it the, about the size of the, the button so you don't have any, um, so when people click on a button, the whole thing gets clicked. All right, so I'm gonna go do the other ones pretty quick, or try to, and um, so we'll be back in just a second. One thing I am going to do is I think I am gonna change the color here so that when you have it selected, it looks like you you selected it and it's highlighted. It's gonna to navigate to none, which is okay. And it'll look like, okay, hey, we've selected this one's, oh, I didn't do the, but it's gonna look like, oh, okay, this is the one that we're, we're on. And you'll notice that it kept going gray, and that's because it has to have a it has to have a target. Otherwise, it's going to go gray on you. Okay, so all three of those are done now, and I got to say, big thanks to uh, Dan Sanchez. He he was the one that turned me on to this idea. He actually put KPIs or other things in the chart here. Okay, so we're ready to publish it. I'm gonna publish it now. Uh, you can go through and make sure, as you're going through, I like to make sure that all of these, there's no, um, yeah, I think that's okay. Make sure, obviously, the names are the same, so there's, you could make these a little bit tighter uh, so that when you flip between charts that the uh, the words don't met, move around, but this will be, this will be good enough. Okay, so this is being done with Tableau Public, but if you were doing it uh, Tableau on your own server or publishing it, you'll have an option that says uh, Show Sheets in the lower left-hand corner of the screen that pops up. You only want to pick the items that have the da that have the buttons, and you don't want to show the uh, sheets or you don't want to show the the tabs because this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have all these tabs, and what you really want to do is you want to get rid of those tabs. But that being said, 
we can say, okay, we're here on delay distribution. Let's go over to budget performance, moves, manager performance. Okay, the link is bad. That's embarrassing. Delay distribution. And if you just click on it again, it'll just reload. But budget performance, you can come back. This is what your dashboard will look like when you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.